this is Diana from Artfully Yours, and right here it shows the my journal page painted with two light colors. So you can do two to three light colors, let them dry. Then you pick a darker color, like I'm showing here, and you're gonna make you're gonna water it down a lot. So now you're gonna see I watered it down in a container. Just watery is not too too much. That's my alcohol dropper, but you can use the back of a paintbrush to do it or spatter on alcohol 91% is best so I'm doing it in sections I'm painting the watery darker layer and then second section the right away drip on the alcohol so I, yeah, as you see I don't paint the whole thing and then drip on the alcohol I'm working in sections Oh, I'm blotting away just some places. And this is not vertical, although it looks like this in the film that it's vertical. I'm this is down on a table. Horizontal, just laying laying flat on a tabletop. Here I'm doing um I got a line drawing from from the internet and on um, Google images and now I'm digitally drawing it in I use my procreate app program and coloring in the line drawing of these flower fairies of this one flower fairy and then the next one will be the second flower fairy There's all different kinds of digital brushes for coloring in. So then I print this out after I color it in and, and then cut it for the collage. So there I am using a real flower that I picked from our backyard bush. And I've seen another YouTube artist use extra heavy gel medium, which I'm going to use, and it seems to make her flowers last in her journals. They don't, they don't um, go bad on her. They actually last. So there's my golden extra heavy gel medium. So she seems to think it preserves her flowers, and they end up being in her journal page pretty good. And I'm putting the gel medium underneath and I'm using a lot of it underneath and I'm also going to paint the gel medium all on top of the leaves and flower. Oh, I had not, I had done this off camera. I had stenciled the two sides with a flower stencil that I have in three different colors. This is all done in acrylic paint. I do cover this whole page with Mod Podge, which is extra glitter, I think. And I add fine white glitter to the flower. I'm using my Sharpie marker 
you have to make sure everything's completely dry because it can ruin your markers if the medium or glues are not dry. So outlining the the flower fairies because it makes the it makes them look less pasted on and it makes it blend in with the the journal page better. But I'm not going to be showing all of my tracing. I'm just showing you that I'm just starting the tracing with a black Sharpie marker. I'll be finishing the rest of it off camera. So you can see on the other half of the journal showing a journal page I've done previously, maybe a few weeks ago or about a month ago. And um, it kind of goes with the journal where the colors really go together. And I see it as the journal spread could go together or not go together because they do kind of complement each other. And now I'm showing a close-up of the finished, close-up shots of all the various areas of this finished journal page. I used a stencil right there for a vine hanging down, fine white glitter for in and around the flower, the real flower. Over to the next journal page, which I had done that a month ago. So the alcohol dripping is a nice background. It really kind of refers abstractly to flowers in the background. That's why I use that technique. So uh, about a day later, I learned how to make these butterfly embellishments. And you could glue them flat or glue them so that they're 3D. And that's what I did. And I have a video. I'm going to put it in the iCard right now or I'll link it down below of how I made these butterflies. So thank you so much for watching and please like, comment, or subscribe. And here's a clip from one of my last videos of how to make torn paper strip background with beads and embellishments.